Recently, Jeremy Roach was crowned the Gatorade Basketball Player of the Year in the state of Virginia. This is a huge accomplishment for a high school player, but the fact that Jeremy won this award after bouncing back from ACL tear during his junior season makes this achievement even more impressive. With Trey Jones declaring for the 2020 draft, it's likely that Jeremy will get the starting nod next season for the Blue Devils. Joining Jeremy in the backcourt will be five-star guard DJ Stewart, which should make for a pretty exciting one-two punch in the ACC. Jeremy's winning pedigree during his high school career fits perfectly with the legacy of Duke basketball. He's a state champion and a two-time FIBA gold medalist, an excellent resume for a player who's only played three full seasons of high school basketball. But in this breakdown, we'll be taking a look at Jeremy's strengths and weaknesses as a player, and at the end, I'll be giving you guys my final verdict of Jeremy's potential as a prospect. Jeremy is easily one of the most aggressive and relentless downhill attackers in the country. It's clear that his ACL tear has not affected his end-to-end -end speed and explosiveness at the rim. Jeremy is very hard to contain and transition with the way he's able to change gears in the open court. He constantly keeps the defense on their heels with stop and go moves like in this clip. Here we see Jeremy push the ball, slow down for a brief second, and then quickly hit Amari Bailey with an explosive in and out move, and then he does a great job protecting the ball for the finish. Here's another similar clip of Jeremy pushing the ball in transition, and then effectively using a between the leg crossover combo to get the first step by his defender, and then he absorbs the contact for an and one finish. Jeremy also uses gather dribbles and euro steps in transition to either protect the ball or to get in position to score at the rim. I also like that Jeremy always attacks low to the ground, which makes for stronger and more explosive attacks on the move. He can definitely be reckless at times attacking in transition, but when he's under control, Jeremy is a one-man fast break. Jeremy may not be a big-time scorer, but he has shown he's capable of scoring the ball on all three levels. Jeremy definitely has the potential to be a solid shooter one day. Mechanically, his shot looks good, he has a release quick enough to get off while being defended, and he usually gets good elevation on his shot. He will need to prove he can be consistent at the next level, but he is capable of knocking down big shots from long range. Jeremy's bread and butter at the moment is his slashing ability. We've already discussed his ability to get to the rim and transition, but he's equally hard to cover in the half court as well. Jeremy has a lightning quick first step that's almost unguardable at the high school level. He's a great ball handler that can weave through the defense, split doubles, and break down defenders one on one. He has a solid built standing at 6'2 and weighing 180 pounds. Jeremy really embraces contact and I could see him getting to the free throw line a lot for the Blue Devils. Jeremy also does a good job moving without the ball, constantly cutting back door or running off down screens to attack off the bounce. I really like Jeremy's upside offensively, especially if he continues to develop his jump shot. Jeremy isn't the most polished point guard prospect, but he is a very talented passer. I like his decision making out of the pick and roll. He's usually patient, anticipating the right time to hit the roller dive into the basket. We all know that Jeremy loves to get out and run on the fast break, and this is where we see his court vision on display, kicking it out to shooters or hitting his teammates cutting to the rim. His handle and his ability to get to the basket draw frequent double teams, and when he's under control, he's shown he could find the open man against defensive pressure. He has room for improvement in regards of running a team, but he definitely has the talent to be a really good point guard in the future. Defensively, Jeremy has terrific instincts in the passing lanes and as an on-ball and help side defender. While he doesn't have elite size or a crazy wingspan, Jeremy plays with the grit and toughness that's just different than other guard prospects in his class. He always makes a noticeable effort to be disruptive on the defensive end, and this type of effort will benefit him greatly throughout his basketball career. So Jeremy really has no issue getting to the basket whenever he wants, but I've noticed he has a tough time finishing in traffic, especially against length. He's already an undersized player, and while he is an above average athlete, he lacks the explosiveness to finish over length at a high rate. He needs to rely on his craftiness more often rather than forcing his way to the basket and trying to finish over the top of the defense. It'd be nice to see Jeremy utilize more floaters and runners in the lane, I love his aggressiveness attacking the basket, but this occasional reckless approach won't work out well at the next level. Let's move on to his decision making. Staying on the topic of his aggressive style of play, Jeremy gets in really bad habits of tunnel vision and because of this, 
he misses a lot of open teammates standing on the perimeter or cutting to the basket. When Jeremy has his mind made up to get to the rim, there's really no going back. His tunnel vision not only leads to forced shots, but it sometimes puts him in bad positions on the floor where he gets trapped or gets jammed up in the paint. His overall feel for the game as a point guard isn't quite there yet. He's a terrific passer and a great ball handler, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's ready to run a team. And to wrap things up, Jeremy will need to improve his consistency shooting from the perimeter. Since he didn't really play basketball in 2019, I don't have any recent stats to present to you guys. But in 2018, he shot 35% from three during the EYBL season and a very low 14% from three during the FIBA games. Now, Jeremy doesn't attempt too many three-point shots when he's on the floor. Right now, he prefers attacking off the dribble more than anything. But his success at the next level will be largely based off if he's able to make long-range shots at a consistent rate. Well, here's my verdict. Jeremy Roach is a very exciting point guard prospect with the potential of being a really great player if he's developed the right way. He's a speedy guard that can be very electrifying in the open court with the ball in his hands. Jeremy's toughness, especially on defense, should earn him immediate minutes on the floor. Offensively, Jeremy will most likely be used for dribble drive attacking for the purpose of either getting to the rim or forcing the defense to collapse and then hitting the open man. I would like to see Jeremy improve his point guard skills and really learn how to run a team during his time at Duke. He has all the tools to be a terrific point guard at the next level, he just needs some help putting the pieces together. Once he figures it out, then I really think Jeremy will have a bright future as a pro.